Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating your own iMovie template. So you have themes in iMovie, but you're just stuck with the few that Apple gives you. You can't create your own. A lot of people ask me how I create these videos with having the same opening and closing credits and do I recreate the, a new movie each time. And actually, I have a template system where I basically have a sample iMovie project that has all the basics in it and I simply duplicate it for each episode. Let me show you. So let's say I'm going to create a series of videos and I'm going to use the same opening and closing for each one. I've actually got in here in a iMovie event, I have the opening sequence for MacMost and the closing sequence. So instead of dragging and dropping them into each new episode, I create a template where I put each of these into a sample movie like this and I do various things that I'm going to need. Like for instance, I know I'm going to want a titling sequence uh, at the beginning, so I'm going to do a lower third here and this will be just before the opening credits. I'm just going to put a black background to it and I can put my my name in here and then I've got some transitions I'm going to add like a cross dissolve here and I also know I'm going to uh, use videos that are going to go in between these but I'm not going to worry about that for the template. So I've got this opening bit here that I don't want to recreate every time. So I'm simply going to save this as a template and you can see here the project is called template and it's right there and it's a great starting point for creating each episode of Mac Most or creating a series of videos that you may be making. So now all I'm going to do to start a new project instead of pressing the plus button here or file new project I'm going to control click or right click on this project here and I'm going to just like to duplicate project and then I'm going to rename it for whatever I want. Once I've renamed it, I go into it and now I can edit this video and customize it for how I want. One of the neat things you could do is, see I've got this this area here that's just a black background with a title over it. I can take a video and I can drag and drop that onto it and select replace to replace the blank spot there with what I want. So I can actually create these placeholders. You can even create more placeholders by using the titling here and simply dragging and dropping a bit onto it uh, and you can just select and get rid of the title itself leaving this blank area here for you to fill in with something else. And if you want to get creative you can actually create uh, little images say in uh, Photoshop or something that say what the name of what you want in there like intro sequence or you know commentary or whatever and then you would actually see that appear there on the screen in that clip and know that that's what you're supposed to replace it. So you can actually create a template for somebody else to use that has markers telling them what they should put in each spot. You can put all sorts of different things in your template, even things you don't think you might need in every single episode of whatever you're making. For instance, you can drag and drop some images and some different titling sequences in there, simply duplicate the template and then delete the parts that you don't want to start off the new project. So I hope you like this look at how I use iMovie with templates. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.